All right, give it up for your producer of the evening, Mr. Joseph Rogers. Woo! Told you not to give me credit for this shit, bro. <laughs> One suggestion. Uh, yeah, I'm Joseph Rogers. I'm surprised Billy didn't mention that James Roberts' hair looks like he stole the wig from his grandma. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking the whole time. Say he stole the wig from his grandma! <laughs> Fuck it, let me tell you about the first time Bill invited me to one of his house parties. <laughs> that was awkward right off the bat, because what do you do? You don't want to go, but you don't want to say no, because if he dies, you're going to feel really guilty. Like, damn, I guess I should have went to his house party. You know? <laughs> so I fell for the guilt trip, went to his house party. Bunch of redneck trailer trash, Belfair looking motherfuckers. There was a Bremerton 6 there, I almost got on her, but... <laughs> she also had a tattoo on her stomach that said, Dangerous When Wet. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, Graham, you got some... <laughs> I'll talk to you. So I talked to this girl and I went up to her and I was like, dangerous when wet, huh? I said, I bet you I can get you wet. And she fucking slapped me. I was like, what'd you do that for? You know what she said? She goes, I was on the swim team. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. All right, it makes sense now. <laughs> um... I was trying to think of like what material I would talk about tonight, like in relation to Bill and his comedy retirement party tonight, because we don't really have a whole lot in common, but there was two things we do have in common. We're both divorced, and fuck, I forgot the other thing. <laughs> Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's, it's a thing, man. It's old, you forget shit, man. Uh, but being divorced is not easy. Uh, <laughs> my ex-wife, man, uh, she was bad. Right? I knew she was bad because once we got married, she said to me, she goes, Joe, I hope you know that you're not allowed to watch porn anymore. I was like, oh shit. Now I'll tell you this right now, ladies in the audience, don't ever ask a man to stop watching porn. I love porn. Great. You're not married though. I like make so. my own. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you make your own. Yeah. You're, you're stealing my joke. You're telling my material for me right now. You're welcome. Damn it. <laughs> She's never even seen me before and she knows how this joke ends. Jesus Christ, she's still pathetic. She likes porn and she's not married. She's available. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because ladies, if you tell a man to stop watching porn, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna start masturbating to the thought of being single. <laughs> For sure. He's gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking go out to the clouds by myself. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna meet somebody. <laughs> my ex-wife told me I wasn't allowed to watch porn anymore. And I go, why? And she goes, because you have me. I said, yeah, but you don't do any of the things that they do. <laughs> Come on, let me fantasize, baby. Let me fantasize. So I listened to her. You know, I obliged. I was a gentleman. So you know what I did? I fucking lied to that bitch. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I did. I stopped watching porn, but I came up with this loophole. You would like this. You just listened to it? No, I didn't listen to it. That's a good one. I didn't think about that. Ooh. Just listening to porn. Yeah, that'd probably get me off. That's hot. Like, damn, she sounds like she's taking a huge dig right now, but I can't see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try that next time. When I'm feeling a little down. I'm just going to put on some headphones and listen to some porn. <laughs> Trying to slip into a meditative state, you know? <laughs> just don't even touch myself. Just come an hour later. <laughs> <laughs> so no, what I did was I invented this thing called self porn. Yeah, where I recorded myself masturbating, and then I would masturbate to that video. Yeah, you know what she did? She fucking caught me masturbating to my self porn. She's like, "Hey, I told you no more porn." I said, "Oh, don't worry, babe. This isn't porn. This is just me masturbating." <laughs> she looks down at the video and she goes, "What?" If that's you, why are you wearing a blonde wig and lipstick? <laughs> Fucking don't give me shit about my self porn video. I gotta spice it up somehow. Shit. <laughs> I think the thing is that uh, I married a lesbian on accident. I really do believe that. There were red flags. There were some serious red flags that I was too young to see. One of the red flags was I came home from work early one day and caught her masturbating to an episode of Ellen. <laughs> that was awkward. And then the one main red flag that I'll probably never forget that I just totally ignored was one time during sex I could tell she wasn't pleased and I was like, is there anything I can do for you? She goes, sure, if you're going to ask. OK. 
could you go get the strap on and use that instead? I was like, oh shit. But I was a little bitch at the time, so I was like, sure, babe, which one? <laughs> black, white, Asian, or Latino? Oh, black again? Okay. <laughs> The, way, the good news is that when I used the strap on the fucker instead, that was the one time I made her come. So <laughs> that was good. Just using the strap on, my limp dick is just flopping on the fucking back of the strap on. She's getting off on it. <laughs> Sorry for the visual for whoever is still eating. <laughs> um, <laughs> weird thing is though, people, is uh, when you, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, I have a hard time making women come because it's such a rarity for me that whenever I'm enjoying it, I'm having a good time, and she's having a good time, and I can tell that she's about to come, and she says, don't stop, I get so excited that I'm almost close, and I just come everywhere. <laughs> so I can't help it. I can't fucking help it. And she's like, I told you not to stop. I'm like, I can't. I'm sorry. I got excited. I almost made you come. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time uh, I was like, you know, I'll try to smoke a bunch of weed before I fucking have sex, right? Maybe that'll help me last longer. So I smoked a bunch of weed, started fucking her, and it did. It worked. I was lasting longer. But when it came time for me to come, something really strange happened. When I went to go come, I got that Howard Dean voice in my head when I was coming. Bia! 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 And I was like, where the fuck, where did that come from? And it's weird because it didn't even line up, because it's not like I'm a shooter when I come. I just fucking drip. Right? So instead of, I should have been like, pew, 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 You know, that's got like a map of Hawaii in front of me. I'm like, what? This doesn't line up. I want to shoot on the walls. You know what I'm talking about, guys? Like, we want what we can't have, right? I want to shoot on the walls. I want to be like, man, like, okay. next day you go, like, oh, fuck, I hit it up here. I got to clean it up. <laughs> oh, that was the other thing we had in common, Bill. Uh, we're both sex addicts, by the way. <laughs> All right, that's my time, everybody. Give it up for Bill B. Get up here, man. Great guy. Great guy. I gotta ask you, Joe, how the fuck am I gonna make fun of anybody about their hair? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you ready for this, man? Yeah, bring it on, Bill. Alright. <laughs> fuck me in the ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you in the ass. I got the strap at night. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dreamer. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Roger, I was gonna come up here and say all kinds of mean bullshit about him, you know, but one thing I've learned at my age is that you, uh, you know, you don't uh, you don't uh, screw the hand that feeds you. I've made more money off this guy than anybody else that I've worked for in the last four or five years. You know, uh, it's pretty sad. You know. Yeah. So with that, you can you know take your lame fucking ass and your old jokes and go in the back of the room and do that stuff as we're through with you. You get to retort after my set, I, which I think my set's going to start right about now, too. Okay, yeah, so you want to sit there? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> Bill me, <D>, everybody! <laughs> All right.